Uh, one of those was the elevator bill that Galvano, uh, Senator Galvano and I sponsored together, where the tragedy that occurred here in Manton County, where a 12-year-old boy was crushed by an elevator in his home because the elevator doesn't have a sensor at the bottom like all of us have on our garage doors. You would think that something like that would be required to be at the bottom of an elevator uh, to prevent some type of tragedy that occurred here in Manatee County, but the Gravelands um, came to Galvano. Galvano and I discussed it and we got that bill filed. That bill also passed unanimously in all of its House committees and its Senate committees and now there's some honor to Max um, for his life because he now has a statue named after him in his honor and hopefully now moving forward um, any tragedy that possibly could occur any residential elevator that is constructed in the state of Florida from the day that the bill passed moving forward will now be required to have one of those little inexpensive sensors at the bottom of the elevator to prevent either an animal or a child or someone from being underneath it so hopefully Max Max's life served uh, another purpose by preventing, hopefully, a, a, another child or someone from getting trapped in an elevator shaft. And so that was some of the other things that, of a very Manatee flavor. I mean, that, that happened here in Manatee County, and now the entire state is going to be able to have the benefit of that change in law. We did this past year on the Patty Bill. It was phenomenal. And we just thank you so much. And we just wanted to give you a little something. <clears throat> The Honorable State Representative Greg Student, an appreciation for your leadership and public service to the citizens of Manatee County. Let it be known that without you, I don't know that we'd be getting that DVI today. So, thank you. Thank you.